What's going on, maniacs? You know who it is. You know what time it is. Madman here. It's Madman time. Your favorite greaser on your favorite greaser YouTube channel. Damn right, Madman's here. And I've answered the call. I've answered the call. I've heard the horns in the distance blowing. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Madman's heard the call. I keep getting a lot of messages and comments about showing off my lighter collection. Now I'm not sure, maybe in one of my videos, my earlier videos, I talked about showing off my Zippo or lighter collection. I don't remember, but if I'm seeing that many comments saying, when are you going to show it off? I must have said something about doing a, a video about it. I said I would cover it in another video down the line. So here we are, you and me, we're sat here with our favorite beverages, with a plate of nachos, hanging about, doing what we do, having a good time. Any stupid things that I do in this video, I blame it on the PBR. <coughs> Damn, that was good. That was spicy. Whew. But I'm sure for those that have read the title know that this video is about my Zippo and my lighter collection with a little bit of smoking memorabilia and a shout out. Speaking of shout outs, I want to give a really special shout out. Joel from Arizona, thank you very, very, very much for your awesome donation. It was a very good sized donation and uh, you mentioned getting some smokes or whatever I need. Well, I picked these up just for you. Pack of Luckies. Things were almost like $9. It's amazing how expensive retro brands of things are getting. But anyway, I picked up these smokes. Thank you very much for your donation. Thank you for your subscription and your time with the Madman here. It is much appreciated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to smoke up one of these, and I'm going to show you my lighter collection off, do the Zippos, and a few odd pieces of uh, my collection of lighters. So let's go ahead and get into this. Take this off, take the cellophane off. Oh, here we go, unfiltered cigarettes. Madman loves unfiltered cigarettes. As you guys already know, they've been following the channel. Which corner seems nice to open? I think I'll open this corner. Let's go ahead and open these up. Ah, the smell of toasted tobacco. Come on. It's always a pain in the ass to get some of these out sometimes. There we go. Got Lucky. We got my daily rig. I'll get into this one, of course. You guys have seen me use this a hundred times already. So let's go ahead and flick it open and get this thing sparked up. Get some punch. Oh god, I gotta savor these. I love them. Oh yeah, we're just gonna sit back and we're gonna <laughs> kind of take it slow for a minute. I love this. For all those out there asking, Madman, why do you smoke in all your videos? Do greasers need to smoke? And I've already answered that question. No, greasers don't have to smoke to be a greaser. Go watch the video. It's on the channel somewhere. I don't remember where. A little while back. But anyway, moving forward. I'm losing the plot here. Um, thing is, why do I smoke in my videos? Because I fucking enjoy it. It's a personal choice. I absolutely love doing it. I will do it until I can do it no longer. Until the, you know, the old lady starts smacking me in the head because I'm sick. Tells me I gotta stop smoking. Or the doctor's like, you gotta give it up. Or whatever. I probably still won't listen. But anyway, chugging along into this video, let me go ahead and I'll start off with my daily rig, which I just showed off. This one right here, this is my Sailor Jerry lighter. Now, this is not a Zippo. It's not made by Zippo. The damn thing was made in China. 2007 limited edition, made in China. Sailor Jerry. This is my favorite lighter out of all of them. And as you can see, it probably has the most wear out of all of them because I've used it the most. This right here, I love it. It's got the... It's got the... Uh, the aces on it, little heart, 
heart, the, the spade, the clubs, the diamond. It says Lucky on it, a little flower, some leaves. Pretty cool. You know, I'm a big fan of Sailor Jerry and all of his tattoo work, and I fucking love that spiced rum. Oh, yeah, Mad Band's a fan of Sailor Jerry. <sighs> fucking A. All right. See, one thing about those unfiltered cigarettes, you're always spitting bits of tobacco. It's to be expected. All right, so let's move on into my first lighter, which is not a Zippo either. This one right here, the Terminator T2. I got this one at Universal Studios when I was a kid. Well, my mom had to buy it for me. We bought it as a gift for my dad, but he never used it. And uh, it was passed down to me. And as you can see, this is just a made in China, you know, knockoff Zippo. Great lighter. I love those ruby red eyes. They sparkle. I don't know if you can see how they sparkle and glimmer in the light. But uh, just a, a real good lighter. It has no fuel in it or anything like that. It needs to be filled, but good lighter. Always enjoyed it. Then comes on to my second Zippo, which is just a very plain, plain Jane Zippo that I got at Walmart for like, what, 10 bucks, something like that back in the day. This one right here needs a little work. See it opens real fast and it's real loose. Uh, this one doesn't have a wick, nor does it have cotton, so I need to replace that. Some of my Zippos don't have all the components because I've swapped pieces out or taken this out of this one and put that in another one and I'm always operating and playing around. Uh, and then my good buddy Derek gave me this for one of my birthdays. Look at that. Harley Davidson. Motorcycles. you got to love that. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Made in the USA. This is a legit Zippo. Made by Zippo. This one's always been a favorite of mine. I used this one for many, many, many years. Yeah, this one's going to need a new flint for sure. I don't know if it has cotton in it or not, but... Awesome Zippo lighter. Holy shit, I better smoke this thing before it fucking goes out. Before I waste all of it. That's the time. That's it. Get one more off of it. Put it out. That's the one thing about unfiltered cigarettes is they go pretty quickly. But uh, Madman is still down with the LSMFT. Lucky Strikes means fine tobacco. And it surely is. All right. Well, it looks like that's all my Zippos out of the way. I do have another Zippo that I cannot find. It's another Harley Davidson one. It's all black, and it's got the, uh, you know, the um, the eagle, and it's like yellow with the yellow wings and a whole bit. I don't know. Maybe some of you might have that exact same Zippo lighter, but I don't have it right now. I can't find it. I don't know what the hell happened to it. But I do have one more Zippo. <sighs> and on to some of my other little trinkets, things of interest. This one is an old Marlboro lighter from the 90s, right here. This used to sit in my kitchen drawer ever since the 90s. I took it for myself when I got of age and started smoking and everything. But as you can see, this is a, I don't, it doesn't have a date. The little tag is faded, but old 90s Marlboro lighter. Doesn't even work anymore. Doesn't even have a flint. Things out of commission. And then, of course, and I have another one of these, and I can't find the other one. The old Joe Camel lighters. Anybody ever seen these before? This is a 90s thing, okay? These are promotional lighters. You could buy them in liquor stores. They'd send them to you. you send away for them. Oh, I've got a little spark on it. A little spark. <sighs> Things out of commission. It's pretty old. It uh, hasn't been used in years. I have another one of these. It's almost identical, except he's wearing a white tuxedo. He's got the sunglasses, white tuxedo, a little bow tie, a little black bow tie. Pretty cool. I don't know if these are worth any money. Maybe, maybe not. I don't care. I just collected them over the years. <clears throat> Stuff that we had in the house that I took on for myself that I thought was pretty cool. I also um, have another one, which is pretty cool, and it's a uh, Salem lighter. It's a little green pack. Any of you older smokers out there might know what I'm talking about. Um, it's a little green pack little white cigarettes that pop out and you click down on the cigarettes 
butane lighter you can refill it and you could light it look like a little pack of green Salem cigarettes very cool lighter still looking for it to this day it's got to be somewhere in one of my old boxes amongst the junk and stuff like that but if I ever find it I'll have to show it to you on video or post it on my Instagram speaking of my Instagram if you don't follow me on Instagram links below go click it check it out I'm always posting art and other kinds of stuff when I'm not doing videos you dig Leads me to this other cool little find. Mind you, uh, the the black Harley Davidson lighter that I cannot find, and then of course the uh, Sailor Jerry lighter, and this little goofy lighter were actually bought by a friend of mine at a flea market. Good friend of mine around here. We've got a lot of the same taste in motorcycles and hot rods and lighters and things like that. So he picked those up for my birthday. He found a few and he bought them. They were pretty cheap old retro lighters. You know I was really into them, so got them for me for my birthday a few years back, including this goofy little lighter right here. And it is broken, but it's got a little button on the back. It's supposed to hit the button and the thing pops up, but it does fuck all now. So it just you can flick it open with your thumb and light it up. Cool little lighter. Not too bad. Haven't used it. Just kind of a cool little piece to have in the collection. And then, of course, that leads me to something a little bit more modern. Torch lighter. If uh, torch lighter, if Zippo made torch lighters, this would probably be it. This is made by Firebird. Cool little lighter. Um, I've used it off and on. As you can see, it's got a little bit of wear and tear on it. Kind of a cool little lighter. It flicks open like that, and you push it on the side here, and it has a little electric spark, and it's not doesn't have any fuel in it, no butane, so it's just, yeah, it's, it's going to do fuck all. But kind of a cool little modern lighter for those that are into that. And then that leads me to my last piece, which is not a lighter, but I thought I'd show it off anyway. Anybody who's a fan of smoking cigarettes, or cigars in this case, has got to have a cigar cutter. Yeah, I got myself a little cigar cutter. This is a pretty old one. I've had it for years. Just right in there, a little tip, and boop! done. Or you could do a V cut or you could poke the hole in the cigar. However, however you like to smoke it, it's up to you, but I always like to have a little cigar cutter. It reminds me of that scene from Mission Impossible 2 where the guy puts the, he's going to try to get some information. He puts the guy's pinky in the thing and he clips it. I was like, ah, but it could be used for that. So anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I couldn't find some of the other lighters. A lot of this stuff is old. It's it's scattered around. Some are in boxes, and God knows where half of the stuff is. But if I can find some more of the stuff, maybe I'll have to do an update video where I find some of my old other trinkets. But this is what I have on hand right now. Not the most impressive lighter collection, but cool enough for me. I enjoy it. Stuff that was given to me, stuff that I bought, stuff that I found. You know, that kind of thing. So again, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Everybody's doing great out there. All the Madman's Maniacs are doing great. I always like to hear good things, good stories. And um, if you haven't already, like, subscribe, share, favorite, comment, all that kind of stuff. Hit the notification bell. That way you're notified when I put up a new video like this and many more to come. I will be putting up some more new t-shirt designs and other kind of cool merch stuff. So be looking for that. I'll have some stuff posted somewhere, maybe. I don't know. But I got some more stuff coming. Go check out the, the shop. Check the links. I got stuff posted. You guys know the deal. And if you don't know, get a clue, get a brew, get a rock and roll tattoo. Hang loose, be safe. I'll catch you all on the flip side. Mad Mad out.